what is going on my fellow floppers and welcome back to another black ops 3 video so anyway guys in today's video we are going to be looking at how you can raise your kdr and just before we do jump into this if we can hit 60 likes guys that'd be absolutely insane so anyway guys here are some tips how to improve your kdr just before i quickly tell you uh, my kdr is a 1.5 roughly i am um, you know i'm not the best player but i may be able to give you some tips and how i play and stuff like that for you to improve so anyway guys you want to use cover to the best of your advantage so if you are coming up to some cover in front of you like some barrels or a rock or something in that nature then go and duck behind it if you know there's going to be some enemy coming in front of you or if they're coming from that area number two is use your minimap guys it is there for a reason unless you're playing hardcore then use your minimap guys it's not there just to be you know fancy and make your hood look pretty and stuff like that but anyway guys what you want to do is you want to watch that because if you can see where your teammates are more than likely the enemy are going to be near them or where the teammates are not and that's where the enemy are going to be spawned so you want to be kind of heading that way up to a certain degree number three you want to actually be sticking with your teammates as well or you want to play with friends now by doing this you can obviously help each other out you know keep um, keep each other's backs covered and stuff like that it really does help especially if you like playing something like domination then your mates and you can cover each other's back while capturing the flag etc so anyway guys we're going to be moving on to tip four now tip four is actually pre-fire and pre-aim now if you're coming through a doorway coming around a corner going you know near a window um, if you're going around the enemy spawn you want to pre-fire and pre-aim if you know someone's there pre-fire all the time pre-fire yes I know your first four bullets are normally the most crucial bullets in your round but you need to pre-fire guys because this will help and it will put the enemy off a little bit and then you've already got a few bullets on and if he walks into those few bullets then that's it you're going to win that gunfight so anyway guys what you want to be doing is you want to be using a class that you feel comfortable with now if you use a class that you feel comfortable with you're going to to be happy playing the game so there's no point using a pistol if you can't use a pistol there's no point using a sniper if you're rubbish with a sniper you want to use some of the good guns as well like the common guns that you'll see in esports so you want to go and look them up go and look them up also guys look for best class help videos with how you know your favorite youtubers do their best um obviously with their classes and stuff like that so go and check them out i've got loads of best class setups if you want to go and check all them out in my previous videos also guys you want to be using streaks now you don't want to be using streaks that you don't think you can get so don't point like don't put haters on raves on and raps on and you know streaks like that because i'm not being funny guys if you're not the best players you're not going to get them so basically you want to use low streaks like lightning strike uav counter uav in fact guys why don't you just use a care package not being funny but you could land raps in there and that really could help you as well so anyway guys these are just a few tips that i tend to flow by type of thing i do use a lot of high streaks because i wouldn't say i'm a brilliant player but i'm a bit more experienced than a lot of people yes guys my kd is not the best so obviously you might not want to take tips from me but if this helps you get over a 1kd if you're struggling to just quite hit that 1kd maybe if you follow these tips it might actually help you a little bit more but anyway guys if you have enjoyed this video if you can smash that thumbs up that'd be absolutely insane guys if we can get 60 likes that'd be absolutely amazing if we can get above that well you're just amazing but anyway guys if you are new around here please hit that big fat subscribe button we're almost at 5,000 subscribers guys yes i know i've had a bit of break of youtube but i do apologize about that but anyway guys as always i'll see you on the next one